What makes Dominica so appealing to global investors? I believe uh, uh, the main appeal of the Dominica program is the fact that we are celebrating 27 years. Investors and agents are aware that the Dominica program is an authentic program. We have withstood the test of time. We have been there and they have seen uh, the investors invest, the children became citizens of Dominica, their grandchildren and in some cases even their great-grandchildren. So we have seen that Dominica has gone through the test of time and we continue to, to strive and to get better and better like old wine. Investors are very uh, impressed with the fact that the Dominica program has strong due diligence. That has been the cornerstone of our program over the years and we continue to improve. We use the best companies in the world to do our due diligence and the results show that we have not had any scandals in our program for the 27 years and we continue to do very, very well. Also, the fact that we're able to process our files in a good time, within three months, investors are very pleased with that. So uh, the investors are satisfied with uh, the experience we have, they're satisfied with our due diligence process, they're satisfied with our processing time, and uh, our threshold for investments have been very impressive, and they have been satisfied with those as well. We have introduced the option of real estate, and we have a few projects that are approved and those uh, investors are very pleased with the quality of projects that are being undertaken in Dominica on the real estate and those uh, themselves are appealing and I think those are the main reasons and main success for our program uh, in Dominica. What are the current options available for citizenship in Dominica? In Dominica there are two ways of becoming a citizen of Dominica. One is through uh, the direct government donation where an investor could invest $100,000 minimum and become a citizen. Those funds go to go the government and they utilize for national projects, be they infrastructure, be they education, be they agriculture, uh, housing, or whatever. Or husband and wife uh, would be would be more, and you could add your children and other members of your family who are dependents, your your parents, your grandparents, uh, your siblings, etc. So those are ones they're under 30 uh, and, and and are not married. You could you could include them as, as uh, dependents. And then the other option is through real estate. Our real estate project our program uh, came in from 2014, and we have approved a limited number of projects. The idea is that uh, the investors have a choice to choose within, sorry, among uh, very few projects, so the funds can come in at a rapid rate and the projects can be completed. That has paid off very well for us. So we started off with uh, Kempinski, which was done by range, and that project still out in record time, and the hotel is now opened. We have uh, projects such as uh, the Jungle Bay, which is a locally owned boutique high-end hotel. They have opened as well, and they are operating, and the investors invested well in that, and they are very satisfied with that. We have also the NH Resort, which is a Marriott Autograph Collection. And uh, again, Marriott being the world's largest hotel chain, Autograph being one of the highest level of hotel within within uh, the Marriott group of companies, that again is still not very well, and work is progressing quite nicely on that. We also have uh, projects such as the Tranquility Beach, Curio, a project by Hilton, again another high-end quality hotel, uh, another well-known brand that investors are very pleased with. 
So these have been some of the main reasons for our, our, for our success. Uh, other investors and investors, we have other projects as well, such as uh, we just brought in the Rainforest Eco Resort, and they are also selling very well. We have Bar Cotlet, and they too are operating very well. So we've, we're very pleased with the projects that we have put on, and uh, these are the two main areas for becoming citizens. One, direct government fund, or two, you could apply to join a pre-approved government real estate project, and uh, those are limited, and they, those are all, all going very, very well. What processes allow for such a, an efficient application turnaround? I believe our application turnaround are efficient because we recognize each investor as a VIP investor. We only accept uh, investors through local agents. These agents must know their clients. These agents uh, must first do the background check on the clients and therefore when the files come to us, they have already been vetted by the agents. That is important for us. We assign staff to each agent and to each investor, so they are treated with the, with the respect that they need as VIP. We also, uh, in the unit, use the best known real, uh, due diligence firms to assist us in the processing. Those are world renowned, they know, uh, and they know and have staff in every major, uh, major area of the world, every major capital, and therefore they, they can get along with the work very quickly. Our staff are, are well trained in anti money laundering and uh, other soft, such training, so that assists us as well. But what we do is to ensure that every applicant is assigned to a specific staff member in the unit who have a time by which to deal with, with every applicant application uh, and by, by every investor. Those help us go through. Our due diligence firms assist us uh, in ensuring that the work that we do are done on, on a timely basis and our staff are, are well trained. I believe those are the major factors to help us uh, to process our files in the time that we do and that is within three months. Dominica is time and time again endorsed for its multi-layered due diligence processes. What are these and why are, they, uh, why are these important? For us, the first line of due diligence starts with our agents. They must submit a New York client uh, form and they must do a, a wool check on every, on every applicant uh, before they, they send it in. That limits uh, us receiving junk, junk files and junk applications already. So uh, they have to be fresh, uh, fresh out uh, right there. In what ways does Dominica appeal to, investor, to an investor who seeks frequent traveling? Uh, our Dominica program uh, appeals uh, tremendously to investors who want to travel. And those are for simple reasons. In Dominica, we continue to expand on the number of visa free access we have globally. Not too long ago, we were at 120. Today, we're up to 140 and counting. Recently, we added countries such as uh, Russia, we added uh, Brazil. So we have uh, a high acceptable visa free access into countries, more than 140 and growing. So investors who want to invest uh, or who want to travel easily will come to Dominica and, uh, and appeal, sorry, uh, and apply and get, and use, get our passports to get them to move around the world. So, uh, really and truly, we are well known, uh, we are respectable, we have a strong visa-free visa appeal, and in order to serve our clients globally, we continue to expand uh, our embassies and consulates around the world. We recently opened our consulate in Abu Dhabi, uh, UAE, and that uh, assists our clients very much. We have quite a few uh, clients and, and citizens going in, uh, into our council and utilizing the services there. As Commonwealth citizens, uh, we have access to different, different Commonwealth uh, secretariats and even uh, access from, from the British, uh, British Council in many countries uh, around the world. So those really and truly assist our clients. Those are, 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 are assist our citizens of Dominica and uh, for that, we continue to rise and continue to appeal more and more to investors. What is the connection between visa-free travel rights and who can apply for citizenship in Dominica? Uh, in Dominica, we have visa-free arrangements uh, with a number of countries. So what we do, if we have a visa-free arrangement with uh, a particular country and someone applying to be a citizen of Dominica 
has a visa rejected from one of our partners, we will not accept you uh, in, in our program. So if you reapply and, and get a visa, then we will consider and we will, we will, process, we will proceed with your application. But really and truly, we, we uh, limit our, 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 our applicants to those who have not been rejected by, by our partners. And we believe that is part of being a responsible, a responsible partner in the international migration community. Are there any other bans on prospective clients? Generally speaking, we accept uh, applicants from all over. But given world circumstances at present, we have a ban uh, on people from North Korea, from Sudan, and, uh, and, uh, and, and Iran, if you're living and working in Iran. If you're living and working out of Iran or, or out of the, any of these countries uh, for more than 10 years, and you do not have any major investments in, in, uh, in any of these countries, then we will consider the application. But for now, we accept applications from all, all around the world, except if you're living, uh, working uh, in uh, Iran, Sudan, or, or North Korea. You have to be out of these countries for, for a minimum of 10 years. In what ways is the unit and the government ensuring that the CBI program remains operational during the COVID-19 crisis? And what do you think will change after the crisis? We have always been a forward-looking, forward-thinking uh, program. In fact, uh, several years ago, we introduced our portal where all our applications can be done online. That assisted us tremendously, and you would recall, in 2017, after we had uh, Hurricane Maria that devastated our country, we were able to continue our, our operations within days after the hurricane. Today, even while uh, the world is closed down, we are accepting applications uh, on our portal, and even though we work from home, uh, we continue to be as efficient as ever. So we are continuing to work to operate, or our investors can, uh, and can apply through their agents, and the agents will upload all the files on the portal, and we have access to those information uh, from homes or from wherever we are. We have not uh, slowed down at all in our processing of files, and we're doing very well. So, uh, really and truly, we are offering our investors, our agents, the opportunity to do business and do it in a, in a timely manner without interruption because we work, we work remotely uh, with our portal. Our office, although we continue, uh, we continue to open, we ask agents to stay, stay away as much as possible and a number of our staff are working from home because we believe it is the safest thing to do at this point in time. So we get your files, we access them from uh, our computers, from our laptops uh, remotely and we work with them. The bank is continuing to accept funds and clear funds and that is good for us so we continue with uh, our program. So uh, it, our government also has also been able to manage the COVID-19 situation in Dominica very well. We have done over 500 tests, we, have, we had only 16 positive uh, cases, 15 of which uh, have been healed and sent home. We had no deaths, so our active case in Dominica continues or remains uh, to, is today only one. We have not had an active, uh, a new case in over a month. So uh, Dominica can be regarded as a country with very good uh, healthcare system, very good healthcare management, and hopefully uh, the world will look at us uh, in, in good light after this COVID situation. As a country not just beautiful uh, in nature, efficient in citizenship uh, management, uh, experience in uh, the CBI industry, but also one with a strong healthcare system where uh, we protect and provide good services, healthcare services for our citizens and people who are here in our beautiful country.